Hello. This is Mundane Designs. And I have a story to tell. I guess I should start at the beginning. It started like any other day. I just finished a day of work and I was playing some games to clear the work day out of my head. Everything was going great and I was making some real progress in the game. Then, I got a notification on my phone that a package had arrived on my door. So, to avoid porch pirates, I paused my game and headed to the front door to get the package. I noticed that it had my name on it. So, I quickly took it back to the game room to see what was inside. To my excitement, it was a game I was looking for. Cool! That's weird. No return address. No note. Nothing in here. That's really odd. Who knew that I'd wanted this game? My curiosity quickly faded, and I did what every gamer does with a new game. Test it to make sure that it works. The UMD was recognized by my PSP and it started playing the video without issue. But, in the past, I had run into games before that would not load the game after the intro. I was extremely hopeful that the game would work and that I could add it to my collection. This was great. Despite a small loading error, the game worked just fine. And I could not be happier to add the third Parasite Eve game to my collection and complete the subset. With my initial test complete, I was satisfied with my new game. I promptly put the game back into its case and found a place for it with the other PlayStation Portable games. With the idea of coming back to it after I had replayed the first two Parasite Eve games. The next day, things just started going wrong. Was it just a string of bad luck? What? Update failed! What? No! No, 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 no! I was max level! Oh, no! Ugh. Please stop drifting! <laughs> oh great, now you're dead. What did I do? Charge you like two hours ago? Fully? <sighs> Disc read error? No! Then the phone call started. Hello? Hello? Yeah, keep breathing, buddy. Sounds like you have asthma. And more calls. 
Yellow. What? Wait, you want what? To who? <laughs> no, man. You've got to have the wrong number. And more calls. Hello. Wait. Wait just a second. Okay, what? Yeah, no, I'm I'm not interested in extending my car's warranty. Thanks. And more calls. Who? Hello? What am I wearing? Uh jeans, a hoodie, and a Retro Rivals t-shirt? But it might not have been the wrong number. What the heck was that noise? That was not all fun and games. I started hearing things outside my house. Strange noises that I could not explain. Someone or something was wishing me ill intent, and it took every opportunity to let me know. My beard was clipped. I knew it was just hair and that it would grow back, but someone had done this to me against my will. Then more calls came, but these were a lot stranger, making accusations and thinly veiled threats. Ugh, always these interruptions. Ugh, come on, no caller ID again? Hello? Hello. I believe you have something that you received by mistake. No, sorry, no lost packages or mail here, man. Are you sure? Yeah, uh, good luck. Really? During, during a rank match? Okay, fine, fine. Hello? L listen, you do not understand. If you do not give us the package, we will not be responsible for what happens next. Wait, are you talking about the third birthday? Did you open it? Well, yeah, how else am I going to play the game? Hello? Hello? Little did I know, the mysterious caller aimed to deliver on those threats. I, uh, I don't know, I don't know why they're, uh, chasing me or anything like that, but, um, this is not good. I, I'm hoping that I can get out of here and get back home where I need to be. So, uh, I'm really, I'm kind of unsure about, like, what's going on. Oh, wow, that's, that's a deep hole. But, like, these, these people, they, they showed up to my house. They mentioned something about third birthday. And, uh, I don't know, guys. Like, this is bad. I really don't know what's going on. And it's just, I don't know, like, I mean, it's, it's just a video game and, and like, they, I thought it was a gift. I thought it was a gift. Oh my gosh. Uh, hopefully, like, hopefully I can make it and like, 
everything else will work. Oh, the dogs. Oh my gosh. They're gonna give away where I'm hiding. This is bad. I've got to, uh, I've got to hide and hunker down somewhere, but who knows? Uh, hey guys, I, I think, I don't know, I think I found a good place to hide. Oh, those noises. It's like they're, they're just, they're trying their best. But, I mean, I don't know. It's, it didn't start off like weird or anything, but like, it just, it, it just kept getting stranger and stranger. And, and now like this with, with like people looking for me and I, I, don't, I don't know, like this is, this is not good. I'm, if if uh, anyone finds this video, send help. I really think these people are out to hurt me. Unfortunately, all of my efforts were in vain. They found me and knocked me unconscious. Still don't know what they wanted. They didn't even take the game. I don't think I'll ever fully understand what happened. I count myself lucky to be alive today. To all those who watch this video, word to the wise. Sometimes a gift hides a more sinister intent. This is Observation 01 reporting status. Civilian subject Alpha has been neutralized. Repeat, Alpha is neutralized. Observation of subjects Bravo, Charlie, and Delta will continue, but we can confirm ethereal conversion. We are no longer tracking the aberrant waveform. Recommend upgrade of AW to unconfined status. Recommend immediate discontinued use of any visual media that the AW might use as an escape vector. 